We begin tonight with another political scandal in Washington, this time involving Michigan Representative John Conyers. He's the latest public figure accused of sexual misconduct. Conyers vehemently denies the accusations, but admits that he settled a similar complaint with a former staffer back in 2015. And right now, the 88-year-old Democrat is at his home in Detroit. National and local media have been camped out there for hours. Our 7 investigator, Heather Catalo, is there live. And Heather, any word yet from the congressman? No, so far he's not willing to answer any of our questions on camera here at his home here on the west side. But right now, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi is calling for an ethics investigation. Shocking sexual harassment allegations against the longest serving member of the U.S. House of Representatives, Congressman John Conyers. A BuzzFeed article detailing a secret settlement between the Detroit Democrat and a former employee who says she was fired because she would not succumb to his sexual advances. Congressman Conyers wasn't answering the door today at his West Side home and his wife, former city councilwoman Monica Conyers, asking reporters to leave. Well, you all have a very happy Thanksgiving. Mrs. Conyers, do you have any reaction to the allegations? The BuzzFeed reporters uncovered four affidavits from former staffers that were used in one employee's wrongful dismissal complaint that was filed with the Congressional Office of Compliance in 2014. They corroborated her statement. They witnessed uh, the congressman inappropriately touching female staffers on multiple occasions, things like rubbing their legs or their backs, often even in public in front of constituents. According to reporter Paul McLeod, Conyers gave the former staffer a $27,000 settlement paid with taxpayer dollars from his office budget. This employee was rehired as a temporary employee for a few months and paid a salary and then let go. Now, during this period, she was not really an employee. She wasn't allowed in the office. She wasn't doing any work. Those aren't the only taxpayer resources Conyers is now accused of misusing. There are also accusations of female staffers who were tasked with essentially managing women for the congressman, including driving them to and from his hotel room, uh, even using congressional resources to fly women to him. In a statement, Conyers said, quote, in this case, I expressly and vehemently denied the allegations made against me and continue to do so. My office resolved the allegations with an express denial of liability in order to save all involved from the rigors of protracted litigation. Tonight, the Michigan Democratic Party calling these allegations disheartening. They, too, are calling for a full investigation by the House Ethics Committee. Reporting on Detroit's West Side, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. All right, very disturbing. Not something you want to hear, Heather. Thank you so much.